Greetings, Elder Black Light, your 75-year-old brother, reading from Theology of Time by the Messenger of Allah, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. We're going to take this kind of slow because this is something that must be ingrained in your skull. The black man of the earth must rule. The black man of the earth must rule. See, we think too small, black people. Some of us think that we're not worthy enough to rule because of the actions of some of our brothers and sisters. They have been not schooled properly. That was the meaning and the uh, coming of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, the messenger of Allah, who came to us in the person of Master Farah Muhammad. Let's just read a few paragraphs of his program uh, that he wanted to indoctrinate us with. He says here, I am looking for help. I am looking for the black scientist who knows something about how to build and how to tear down. I want both. A wrecker and builder. Write me and tell me what you can do and what you are willing to do for me and my work. That you are learning of how very fast, that you are learning now very fast, excuse me. Do something for yourself and build up for the black man wherever you can. We have a job here on the south side of uh, Chicago that I was determined to bring through. It will make the blacks or the black man rule himself and others on the south side. You will be your own ruler because I will teach you how. Let's stop right there for a minute. Now this program was cut short with the passing of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. It's when the government put in spies to tear down the program. Because when the Honorable Elijah Muhammad passed, I thought I heard someone say his empire was 170 million plus and today that would be in the billion. So let's read just a little further. As you see, I am my own ruler. Those who follow me are coming along fine. They soon can go for themselves. Some of them already are going for themselves. This is what I want you to do. I want you to be yourself and rule yourself. Don't jump out before you get your diploma. Least you have to come running back to me. Wait until I tell you that you can go for self. Don't try it before you get your diploma or your degree. In some parts of this work, God and I love you. No, God and I love you. So well that he wants me to tell you these things to make gods out of you. This is just what it is for, to make gods out of you. You say, oh, I know that I will never be a god. 
Don't say that because you are already a God. Let's stop right there. Right now, we are struggling within our own self, our own community, fighting against each other, black man against his own woman, woman against black man. The enemy has successfully divided us up. And we just think of certain parts. If we could only rule Africa, or should we go back to Africa? Should we uh, separate from the white man? I'm gonna try to make you understand that uh, the right program was down with Elijah Muhammad because the things that he was telling us to do was good then, good today, and good tomorrow. Now, the Nation of Islam has also divided themselves into sects. The government is successfully dividing us and conquering us and keeping us stagnant out the knowledge itself. And some of us refuse to acknowledge truth because we love the devil so much and we love the Caucasian so much that even though we know that he is the enemy, we rather trust him than to trust our own self or our brother. We don't know who's telling the truth. Well, this is one way you can tell. My philosophy is the truth should be told and not sold. I'm not asking for you to to uh, donate to me anything, those days are gone. I'm asking you to donate to your own self and your own family and your own neighborhood. And you gotta watch out for those hypocrites and traitors. You know. And I will point out to you through past experience that the enemy, or the uh, Caucasian, has planted those who look like you in your neighborhood to snitch. That's why you got to be righteous. You, know, you got to have a righteous mind and a righteous heart. The enemy can't mess with you when you're righteous. It's like a uh, King. He spied on King, but he found King to be unfaithful to his woman, Claudette, or his wife. When he came to Malcolm, he spied on Malcolm. And he found out that Malcolm had an ego. And he worked on Malcolm's ego. So Stay with us and we're going to come back. I'm Black Life, telling the truth and passing the mic. Black Life.